Hi Cancer, the Abby Phoenix here with your January 2019 reading. Ooh, I kind of feel up and happy about you right now. Um, I have to say that any of the previous videos were somber or anything like that, but I don't know. I just got this super burst of happy energy. So let's see what your reading is about. General, of course. It could be you about the other person. Okay. Okay. I'm curious to see where this is going to go. Folks. I just heard product. Um, there's definitely something that you've been, you know, attempting to produce, cancers. See what that is about. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. They're just <laughs> okay, okay, okay. And I think we got it. Oh, is there another one? Okay. Bottom of the deck. Product, Ace of Pentacles, something that you have truly, truly um, been trying to create. We have the Magician card here, which of course is, you know, standard manifestation, um, major arcana. But then we have the Eight of Swords and the Seven of Swords, which leads me to believe that um, somewhere in here, Cancer, I think because you you were really trying to to create, um, you weren't showing up to this or doing it in the um, noblest of fashions, friends. Cancerian fire family, why? You all have a bigger power. You know, you really have divine um, supporting you, behind you. There is a touch of destiny around you you don't need to um one be in this victim mentality to manipulate things and i think um this isn't recent um i feel like perhaps because of this divine power supporting you you are realizing how you have been the creator the product of your own um deception let's let's just call a spade a spade the way that you have showed up to situations before was not called for you knew that you knew it but you thought that it would be quicker and allow for you to get that result sooner than if you would have gone about it the right way and so what i feel like is happening is those things that you got um from manipulation from being deceptive, from being dishonest, from not being forthright, from even omission, those things are now beginning to taper. They have to disappear because they were not necessarily meant to be yours in the first place. Um, divine allowed for you to have them, to taste it, because what, <clears throat> what divine and God's goal is, is to ensure that you understand the difference between doing things quickly and doing things right. And there's a divine timing meant for everything. And now that you are understanding your own self-power, not from these types of actions, but because of yourself, and because of, you know, being like, I can wait for this. I'm patient. I understand that everything has its time and its place. You, it's not to say that you can't have it, excuse me, have it again. <clears throat> but I think what's also going to happen is it's going to be different, um, more different than you could have ever anticipated. Two of Pentacles. I feel like this is you. 
not you doing the juggling, <clears throat> but I think you are the one right now being juggled. I think you are going through this self-transformation in order to start over and realize, okay, if I really want to have, you know, the right things in my world, I have to learn, like I said, you are being taught how to get it properly. Two of Wands. And release, release the previous ways that you did obtain things. Um, I also feel like because you're the North Node, this is also the releasing of the Capricorn energy, the South Node. I feel like a lot of your readings right now are floating around that concept of um, opening up to receiving the new and being ready to release, <laughs> release what you, what can't go forward with you anymore. So like I said, I do believe that you could have um, what you're about to lose again. It's not going to happen overnight, but you can have that. Um, and then we get you. So now three out of four readings have gotten their own cards um, somewhere. Um, two of them were at the bottom of the deck and you are actually showing up. So this is, you are going to be stepping into your full cancer power this month, um, cancers. You will. And the beauty of this, though, even though it's at a standstill, I feel as if at least one of, you know, the chariot carriers are getting ready to move forward. The other one will follow suit. Like I said, I feel like this is you. If you understand the concept of the light and the dark here. I also feel like this is all about um, understanding that you don't need to have it all to still have success. You don't need to have all of the flowers. You are able to leave some for others and share the wealth. <laughs> and compared to you, Cancers, that is, you know, you know, some of the Capricorn energy is feeling as if you have to take it all in order to make the work worth it, the investment worth it. All the credit must be yours. No, no. Cancer is seeing that they don't need to have all of it. You know, understanding that they helped is satisfaction enough. That's just an example, you know. Eight of Swords shows up again in your clarifiers. Let's get some more. You've lived in this victim mentality. You've lived in this place of, you know, um, I, I need, I need, I need, when it has been more about wants. King of Pentacles. This is what you thought was success. And I don't think that that is what's going on anymore. Balancing act. I feel like, again, this is north, north node, south node. Um, realizing that it can be shared. It can be earth and water. It can be all of that. Six of Pentacles, even give and take. <laughs> the hanged man. Um, this is more about, you know, I think it's just this epiphany moment. Like you've been held at a standstill because, you know, there there hasn't been fulfillment continuously um, with how you've gotten things in the past or with the things that you have gotten. Let me put it that way. Knight of Wands. I'm going to, let me re-explain this. Um because of, you know, this internal change that you're going through and the fact that it is seeping into the real world, into reality for you, this is a, a you know, epiphany moment where you have already started. Maybe let's say you were able to get that job that you really wanted in order to get it, though, you know, you... Okay, let's back it up. You're in a company already, and there is an opportunity for you to be promoted. 
Although you know that there are other people that are probably more qualified for the job. And I'm not saying, you know, you sell yourself short. But what you've done is like you've gone around the office and those people that you know were interested in the job. Um, you were just like, hey, you know, I um, heard that this opportunity was open. I think it would be perfect for you. You know, um, let me pick your brain on how you've made it so long or, you know, um, how you think that this job is going to benefit you because you know that they know. And so then you put your name into the hat and then you go for it using the advice from everybody else that they've given you. And um, maybe you've gotten the job, maybe you didn't, but everybody else found out that you were going for it, you know, and now everybody's like, mm, they, they no longer trust you. And so now it's like you are realizing those types of behaviors, those types of <clears throat> choices that you had made. You're looking at yourself. You don't like what you see. You didn't like it when you were doing it in the first place, but that's what you thought was going to get you ahead. And so now you're just like, but I don't even like this job anyway. Or, you know, um, I recognize the blessing from not obtaining that opportunity. It wasn't meant for me. And I guess maybe the drive was more because I feel like I should be promoted and I feel like I should have been promoted way before now, but I'm either go I'm going to wait this out for the opportunity that is meant for me, or you know what? I'm going to step away from this position, let someone who truly deserves it have it, and I'm going to move. Like you're just starting to get this desire and understanding that how you obtain things before just isn't working, and you are meant for something way bigger. So let's get your, <clears throat> um, my throat chakra is acting up for you. <clears throat> I feel like there has to be something spoken as well. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if it's to clear your conscience or what, but there has to be some type of things spoken that you haven't spoken. Or maybe it is this self-realization and you can simply, you know, speak to yourself in the mirror and say, you know what, self, you, what have you been doing, my dear? Like, no, we're better than this. We're better than this. We're bigger than this. And we deserve way more than to limit ourselves because of our, you know, human desires. Bunny hop jive. I love this, not even so much for the message, but for the number four, you rule the fourth house cancer. There is a change imminent in yourself. What's at the bottom? <laughs> Leaping in love. Gemini's just got this. I'm sorry. I think it was actually either Gemini or was Taurus. Somebody got this. I'm, it was Taurus. <laughs> it was Aries or Taurus. It was one of those. It wasn't Gemini. I'm sorry. It was not Gemini. I'm, I am very certain about that. Um, but leaping in love, self-love, that's also what I told either Aries or Taurus is it is about recognizing self. Cancer. Now that you know better, it's time for you to do better. And um, this shakeup, I don't think that is going to leave you down and out. It's going to be painful, one, because people see what you're capable of. And you're going to have to do some rebuilding if you value any of those relationships or connections. Um, mm-hmm going to have to do some rebuilding and um, things are going to be taken away from you. The things that you did not get appropriately, they have to be taken away from you and it is on purpose. But however, you know, you, you still, like I said, you have this kiss of destiny on you. 
it is not going to leave you down and out. In fact, I think that because you are already aware, you may even start to initiate the, you know, disappearing act of those things anyway. But regardless of, all of those things have to be cleaned out before you attract the new. You cannot have any of the, that energy still lingering and think that what is actually meant for you is going to come in. No, it needs to have a space to cultivate. And you have to clear away, kill off everything else in order for that to really be done. Despite it all, though, Cancers, I, I think that this is a truly, um, it, it's a month that's necessary for you. Absolutely. That's your reading, my loves. <laughs> I will see you all next month. Bye.